Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Shep Marie. Today I'll be starting off a brand new dedicated reading vlog. So before I get started, if you're new to this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as hit the notification bell. But this is actually future stuff. I have already read some of these books already and I realized I didn't do the intro. So here I am doing the intro very quickly before I jump into present day, aka I'm going to be finishing off this vlog at the same time. But for this video, I am tackling another series. I did a whole video on all the series I want to start and complete. I will link that above and down below. I already did one other video like this, which is for the series. For this one, I will also link above and down below in case you want to check that out. But for this video, I tackled the series Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Miniscalco. This is book number one. I have a book number two. And then this over here is book number three. So I have three books. There is a total of four books. I don't have the fourth book. But starting from the second book, I decided to pick up the rest of them on audiobook. So anyways, that's what I want to say for this quick intro. Now we can actually get on with the reading vlog. All right, jumping in for my first update. I Please excuse how I look because I am freaking tired right now. And it's just been like a long few days for whatever reason. I just feel very exhausted overall, like just mentally drained and physically drained for like no reason really. Um, but I do want to jump in and let you guys know my first update for the first book here. I am now on page 57. So I do have once again like my tags here. So I will update you guys every 50 or so pages, give or take. So I just want to jump in and kind of give you guys my first impression so far about this book. It falls a girl called Audrey where she is like really well off. Um, she was raised like and pampered her entire life. But for some reason she has a fascination with like dead bodies and stuff like that and thankfully her uncle is willing to kind of teach her in terms of like you know how to dissect a human body etc just kind of so she kind of learns a little bit about that side so even though her father and her brother are very protective of her don't want her to learn it she finds excuses to you know visits her uncle and learns a lot more on that side and so one day she is like dissecting bodies and somehow she meets a guy called thomas who is super arrogant it's just like i'm not really so sure what i think about him so far because right now he just gives off like arrogant vibes and holier than thou vibes basically so i'm not super loving him right now but i'm curious to see like how this will play out um but right now a murder has happened um it just seems to be a string of murders so far and her and her uncle and thomas are somehow responsible for like dissecting i want to say her uncle is like an autopsy person or something like that because i don't know i feel like the background so far has been really vague in terms of like what her uncle actually does why he is like dissecting human bodies because i want to say he is a a coroner but at the same time i feel like they also mention how he gets his like corpses from like weird places and i'm like that seems a bit suspect but i don't know maybe that's just how it was like back in i think it's like the 1800s or something like that so who knows but that's kind of the impression that i've gotten so far about the uncle and so for some reason they're tasked with dissecting the body and kind of like figuring out like what killed you know these girls there is like a killer on the loose a serial killer and he's been murdering women and right now he's on his second victim right now who is a prostitute so they're trying to figure out like why he is targeting prostitutes and the funny thing is her uncle's like oh you can't talk about prostitutes in front of audrey because she's a lady blah 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 and i'm just like okay but she's here like dissecting human bodies so like it's a little contradictory i think um but yeah we'll see how this goes i'm not loving the book per se but it's definitely grabbed my attention more than some of the other books i've tried picking up i've also feel like i'm on like a mild reading slump right now just because of the lack of books i've been picking up so but it's intriguing for now like more intriguing than i thought well no it's less intriguing than what i had anticipated because i've heard so many good things about this series in general like it's super fast paced like very gripping um but so it's not quite to that level at the same time though it's more interesting and more promising than this other book or two that i tried reading and dnf'd so at least there's that um but we'll see how this goes and i'm excited to finally understand what's going on because obviously thomas cresswell is like the love interest like from what i've heard so far so 
anyways i just want to jump in let you guys know what my thoughts are so far and hopefully this will be a good read because mm, i don't know so i am just jumping in to give you guys an update because i have read a little bit since then and i'm doing a really quick update because i'm actually you know getting ready to head out in a few minutes but i did manage to read more of this book i'm now on page 151 and i have to say it's definitely picked up it's not like amazing but i definitely i feel like i've been struggling for reading slump and this so far is like more action-packed and more riveting that i am intrigued enough to continue so that's obviously a great thing but other than that though like it's interesting so far i feel like I like Audrey and Thomas's relationship. It's so like funny to be honest because Thomas is such a character. Like he's one of those like super sarcastic, um, rough edges type of guy with his attitude. But you can tell that he actually is super interested in Audrey. And Audrey is just like this guy is so infuriating. But obviously she's like super into him. It's just one of those like you know not like enemies to lovers per se but like definitely don't like each other but now they're kind of like into each other kind of vibe and i'm honestly like super here for that so anyways um i'm loving the thriller aspect so i also didn't realize that this is a historical thriller i thought that the whole series was like a historical fantasy i am wrong um and i love thrillers so i feel like that's also why i'm like really invested because so much is happening with this murder spree that's going on and the investigation and i'll trying to figure out like what's happening and now the holding of her uncle as well as her father and i'm just really curious as to like the back of the book where it says you know i fell in love with jack the ripper or something like that and i'm like so it's this thomas like what's happening here because i don't think it's thomas obviously i mean he's a love interest i highly doubt that he's the actual jack the ripper i feel like there is something else going on right now so i'm very curious to like kind of uncover that and see like what's happening but yeah like overall that's what i can say so far definitely enjoying it much more than my other current reads or like the previous books i have read and then dnf'd so anyways i will continue to read and hopefully i'll update you guys next 50 100 so pages or so um we'll see how this goes but it's just been tiring like my life has just been exhausting like i've been out all day i just got home like an hour ago and then i ate something quickly and now i'm like heading back out again so it's just been busy and tiring <laughs> hey so i'm coming in um i don't even know when i last updated you guys i wasn't sure if i had updated you guys with my last update or if i didn't and i didn't want to do like a redo so i was just going to be like i'll just update you guys after the end and now i have finished the book and that is stalking jack the ripper i just finished it a couple hours ago i actually really enjoy this book i don't know if it had you know taken me out of my reading slump because i really much i very much have a reading slump right now like i've admitted it like it is what it is um and it's fine but it's getting super annoying and i feel like i just need books that are like kind of like fast paced in a way and while that is the case for this book i don't think it was fast paced enough i also felt like the ending was very very like i need to see when this book was written because in a way it reminded me of like books written like many years ago where it just it's it's not like a modernized I, I don't even know how to describe it just like you know how like sometimes books when they are written in an older time period and the way how things are written back then just doesn't seem to like age particularly well with like today and like what's normal today i feel like that's kind of the case of this book and its ending i don't really know how to describe it it's like really vague but I just felt like I was reading a book that was written in like 2009 you know what I mean like I don't think it was actually written that long ago now that I really have to look this up um I just felt like it was written a really long time ago so this book was written in 2016 so it's not even it's like six years ago I don't know this book seems like it was written much earlier just like the writing style the ending specifically and how everything got wrapped up was like very like hastily done um I don't know I just felt like it was riveting and i was engaged but i was not like captivated i guess with like i wasn't captivated enough for me to just 
dive into it because I feel like if I was not in my reading slump I could have easily bust out this book in a day or two but I've been reading this book for the past week and I just finished it. Granted to be fair though I've been pretty busy recently and I just haven't really had time to just sit down I've been like going in and out I've also just haven't really been in the mood to read sometimes and I've just been like doing other things instead so they're all like factoring into like a reading slump and just being busy because of life but anyway I just want to update you guys and you guys know that I did manage to finish the first book and I do want to pick up the second book but I might switch it to an audiobook because I do feel like I'm reading audiobooks I'm still reading audiobooks faster even though I'm still in a reading slump um but I feel like I have times where I just want to like listen to an audiobook and so because audiobooks I can just do that and do other things it just goes by a lot faster whereas whereas for physically I have to sit down and like you know actually decide to read um and it's just been you know difficult but I do think I'm gonna pick up the second book which I have somewhere around I also already borrowed it from the library so I'm gonna start picking that up soon and just also do like the 50 page mark or so and give you guys updates from there but anyways I do want to update you guys and let you guys know um I was not at all shocked by the ending like who it actually was I wasn't sure but I would say the last quarter of the book I was ready like I already know who it is like I bet anything that this is the person and I was right so kind of sad that I was not caught off guard I do like being caught off guard especially with mystery thrillers um but yeah anyways I'm excited to kind of continue on the series because I feel like it's interesting enough for me to continue to do so I'm really curious what the next book will be like is this the same characters um is it different characters is it the same characters but like a different mystery like I have questions um so anyways I'm going to continue listening to the series and I will check back in once I get to reading. Honestly, this ser this video is like such a fucking mess right now because I've just been like all over the place, like mentally. So I don't even know if I'm gonna be like uploading this video. I really hope so because I feel like I picked this up with the intention to like do a video, but we'll see, guys. All right. Since I've mentioned that I am listening to the audiobook, I have now listened to it. I am on chapter seven somewhere like that, and that's just in time for my first update so I do have to talk a little bit about this book over here which is Hunting Prince Dracula this is book two in the series honestly I am enjoying this book so far um I don't know I feel like it's not difficult for me to get into it right now because it is audiobook and I am listening to it but I'm not listening to it as fast as I normally would I tried 1.5 but I feel like it was just a little too fast so I lowered a bit but now I feel like it's a little too slow so I'm trying to like play around with the speed so that's all I can really say in terms of like the audiobook version but the narrator is doing a good job don't really have an issue there but I am really curious about this one because now they're off to Romania I'm also happy to say that the main characters are still in this book I'm assuming they're not in every single book in the series I wasn't really sure to be honest but um so now they're off to Romania to do to go to some sort of school and they've arrived there and there's a whole like rumor that Dracula has arrived or is back somehow. I'm not entirely sure like why that's the case or how that's the case so far but there has been like sightings of people being staked in the heart things like that so I'm really curious but now they've arrived at the school at this academy and the headmaster even though he accepted her as a student um, apparently they're not really accepted not only that but he's a little bit you know sexist towards females and don't really believe that they should have a place so he's kind of like surprised that she's there but also not and also they're not actually part of the program just yet apparently after like some time they have to prove that they can get in and only two students can actually get in to this program out of many so i'm super curious to see like how this will pan out in terms of the both of them obviously i feel like the two of them will make it in unless something happens in the end and they're just leave the academy altogether so they can go to the third book which i don't even know what it's about but i feel like it's gonna be another mystery featuring another like you know legend so we'll see how this goes i'm really curious though uh but i was gonna say for this book so far i just feel this is such a different like series that i've done because while it is following the same characters i feel like as of right now it's like completely different storylines for some reason i just feel a little bit off about this series i don't know what exactly it is i can't pinpoint it right now but it's not like the series i normally read for this type of videos where it's very much like a linear like okay they're going from this is what happens to the end of the first book and then they go straight into the second book i feel like this 
is reminding me of like tv shows or something where each episode it's like a different mystery you know like supernatural for example where it follows you know this overlying like plot is the same but each episode is like a different supernatural creature where they're just trying to take down i feel like that's kind of what i'm getting out of this book right now that each book will be like a completely different set of like mysteries um they're trying to take down a suspect and that's just kind of how it is i don't know why but it's reading to me like a tv show i think that's probably the best way i can describe this book but anyways i'm going to continue listening to this while i am working and then i will get back once i get to chapter 12 so anyways hey guys so jumping in quickly because i am in the middle of work right now but i feel like i'm just been i'm gonna be busy for the next few days packing or the next day and a half really packing and everything and then i am flying out on friday morning to go to ala and meeting up with maddie katie and soleil so i'm pretty excited about that but in the meantime i do want to talk about this book over here i am now on chapter 24 i literally flew past my last two like check-in points technically because now i am on page 215 so i've definitely made a lot of progress since i've last updated you guys but i want to just talk about what i've been reading and what i think about it so far um i feel like i don't know if it's because i'm still kind of in a reading slump but i'm not feeling completely engaged with the story like i feel like i'm listening to it but it's like background sound you know like i'm still following what's happening i'm not like losing focus or anything but i'm not invested and that's all i can really say in terms of like my feelings overall but i am really enjoying the romance that's ensuing right now because i feel like they definitely have a lot of banter back and forth and it's actually really endearing especially when they talk about the roles of a female female versus a male and how she's very much like I can do it don't speak up for me I feel like don't like she's very much like I can speak up for myself and I don't need a man to speak up for me and I feel like he still kind of has a tendency also in like just a time period they're in um, but he's very like receptive to her needs and her wants and so like he's willing to change and kind of like adapt and I really like that about him because I don't know just a lot of like gender roles and like just the society they're in right now i really like how that's being portrayed um but in terms of like the actual like thriller part it's kind of like confusing i'm not loving it but i'm not hating it either it's just there like i'm like okay cool about dracula people are being found dead what's happening and it, she's still like trying to go through and uncover all these clues and just trying to figure out like who's behind it or what is behind it if it's actually a vampire etc so there's a lot of like you know mystery vibes going on um i don't think i'm like like i said before i'm definitely not super invested in the story but i'm definitely curious though and I don't know but i'm like flying through this book so fast right now just because i'm listening to it on audiobook and i'm just working and like after a few hours i'm like dude like i'm like halfway through this book so let's say for this update i am going to continue listening to it um before i head out for a little bit and then i'm going to continue listening to it tomorrow as well um i'm not sure what i'm going to bring with me to ala i might be listening to this just in the meantime um when i'm there and whatnot but i kind of doubt i'll be getting much reading done just because i am going to be with people and i feel like when i'm with people i just naturally don't read as much you know what i mean and i'm literally traveling for the next two weeks because i'm going to ala and then i come back for like a couple days and then i'm going straight to a weekend trip for fourth of july so it's just like trip trip trips like i feel like after that fourth of july weekend i will finally be able to like decompress a little bit and right now it's only like mid late june so i still have some time to go <laughs> before i can really decompress um but yeah i'm like excited for the trip but also like i just feel like it's gonna be draining and i'm already drained so definitely need to have a lot of coffee and energy drinks i think for the next couple weeks but anyway that's gonna say for this update quick update on hunting prince dracula hopefully i'll finish this book soon i do have the third book right here actually escaping from houdini so once i finish the dracula book i'll be reading that book and then i think there's like a last book left called like capturing the devil or something which i don't think i have um yeah so i'm gonna have to like get a copy somehow or i mean if i'm listening to everything on audiobook then i'm just listening to an audiobook as well but anyway that's the safest update quick 
quick update but I want to at least let you guys know that I have been reading and I've actually made a lot more progress with this book since my last update. Okay guys it's been a very long minute since I have done any updates for this video but I have basically come to a conclusion which I will mention in my next clip um, because I think that is when I'll finish this book because I am now on page about 370. I'm on chapter 41. I have about an hour and a half left for this book. I haven't updated you guys recently because I've been traveling. I was in DC for the weekend um, for ALA and so I've just been busy and I'm listening to this audiobook here and there when I was traveling um, so I've definitely jumped from wherever I last updated you guys to now and I have to say that this book is good but I don't know like okay maybe let me rephrase maybe it's not good it's just okay like I don't know like I feel like a lot of people I know really enjoy this series I am not one of those people I think it's just an okay read if the premise is interesting but it's not like super oh my god the characters are just okay as well the romance is like very 18th century like where there's definitely some flirting going on but it's also like so scandalous kind of situation and like while it's like entertaining it's not like something right now that i'm vibing with for whatever reason i'm also suffering from a reading slump right now i've been mostly reading manga um for some reason that's just like significantly easier to get through right now and i don't know if maybe the whole situation just affecting my experience while reading this series but as of right now i'm very much like like i'm just reading it kind of for the sake of reading it and for this video and i don't know if i really want to continue doing that um but i'm gonna finish this book and i'll let you guys like i haven't 100 percent decided what i'm going to do next i do have like an hour and a half left which i'm going to listen to it right now when i'm getting some work done and then i'll update you guys after but i'm definitely like on the fence with continuing the series and then this video is going to be like very short like i honestly am just like should i even do this video but then i already started it and i already talked about my thoughts for some of the for the first book and the second book that i'm like i should still at least mention it or something you know so anyways um i need to continue working and i will continue reading and i'll let you guys know but i don't know like this series is okay like i'm very curious now about how i'll feel about her other series like kingdom of the wicked because i've heard mixed things people either love the first like jack the ripper series and they're very mediocre on kingdom of the wicked or they love both so i don't know I feel like since I'm not loving the series, I don't know if I really love the other series, you know? So I'm a little bit like hesitant now. But anyways, I'm going to continue reading. But I just want to jump in and like just kind of know my thoughts so far since I am almost done with the book and therefore have, you know, some ideas on how I feel about this book. Now that the reading vlog part is over, I'm going to actually wrap up this vlog here because I just finished reading Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Menescalco. This is book number two. I ended up giving this book three stars. It was just an okay read. Everything about it from start to finish just average for me. The thing was incredibly special. Everything that I said in the previous clip was pretty much the exact same in the last hour and a half of this audiobook, which is why, unfortunately, after finishing this book, I've decided to just DNF the rest of the series. I just feel like I was reading the series for the sake of this video. I just wasn't very invested, and nor did I care very much in terms of the plot, the characters, like what was happening, all of that stuff. And because right now I'm kind of in the reading slump, I'm kind of like, do I really want to spend more time on a series I'm not loving? And the answer to that is no. So unfortunately for this video, I only finished reading two of the books for this series, which is honestly very unfortunate, but it is what it is. I really wish that I had loved this series more because I've heard so many rave reviews about just the romance in general, um, like the thrilling aspect of it. It is a th historical thriller, so there's obviously murders and mysteries happening, lots of like suspense and clues. And usually I really love YA thrillers, but for some reason this one just did not catch my attention very much. I like I already said, just didn't care much for anything really. Everything was just mediocre. Like it was just a three star for the first book and for the second book. So do not waste any of more time, any of your time. I am not going to continue on with the rest of the series because I'm only halfway through the series. And then the idea of just reading two more books that I don't care about is just not the most appealing thing for me. 
so that's all i can say in terms of this video let me know down below if you have read this series what did you guys think about it did you love it did you think it was just average did you hate it let me know down below i'm really hoping i'm not the only one because as of right now i feel like most of my friends who have read this series absolutely adored it and i'm definitely in the minority here so if you didn't like it as well let me know down below but as always if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up it really does help on my channel and if you see more content of me please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as the notification bell and as always you can follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next time bye